Hello and welcome to Hamer Reviews. My name is Christopher Hamer and today in our new studio we're reviewing the WY-C600N wireless in-ear headphones. Wireless in-ear headphones come in a variety of styles and this is the neck band style of headphone. So you have a neck band, goes around your neck, logically enough, then the earphones um, fall from that that you can then put in your ears. The benefit of this design is that the earphones are very light um, because all the electronics are inside the neck band um, and usually these also have very thin cable which is obviously preferable to the thicker cable that you might get on some designs where the battery pack is actually attached to the end of the headphones. So it's not a bad design, it's not as sleek as say the Apple AirPods but these aren't Apple AirPods. So the WYC600N N series have a, an interesting set of features, um, chief amongst which is active noise cancellation. So active noise cancellation is something we've looked at on this channel before when we compared the Sony WH-1000XM3 uh, and Bose 700 series noise cancelling headphones. But on an in-ear headphone, that's actually a technology that's fairly rare. The Apple AirPod Pros have it. Um, the Bose Quiet Control 30 series have it, headphones that I've owned before, um, and so do these. I think when you put noise cancellation into um, a set of headphones, you create an expectation from the consumer that you're going to receive a product that is superior to those from the competition. Um, that's because I think active noise cancellation is still seen as a very luxurious um, option to have. Uh, it requires a lot of technology, it requires microphones, processors, etc. It's far preferable than to something like noise isolation, where you're just using, say, a foam um, ear, uh, uh, earpad to, to actually keep the sound out. Unfortunately, when you look at mid-range products such as this, it was also where those headphones fall down. In this case, these costs are currently between 110 and 130 pounds, depending on where you buy them. It's, it's not a bad price for Sony wireless um, in-ear headphones. However, the issue there is that they're, they're still on the cheaper end of, of the spectrum and the headphones in this case just don't live up to the expectations set by their features. I find the noise cancellation in these to be almost non-existent. I tried them out on the tube before uh, this whole situation where we're all basically under house arrest um, and, and they just don't really block out much noise. Um, you can have the noise cancellation on and off and I just couldn't tell the difference. They do block out some noise, um, the repetitive hum of, of aircraft to a certain extent, but I, I really struggle to, to hear the difference. And that's really unfortunate because the sound from these headphones is very good. They're, they're very enjoyable to listen to. There's a, a good amount of bass, there's a decent mid-range, the, the highs are good, they're not too muddled. So actually in terms of sound quality, these are not bad. It's just the fact that they set this expectation that you're gonna have noise cancellation and then when it turns out to be not that great, it's really, really disappointing. There are some quite cool features on these headphones nonetheless. For instance, when you're not using them but you still have the neckband on, you can actually flick these together. There's a magnet in them and that actually puts them into standby mode. Um, that's great for saving battery life. On that note, battery life is very good. They charge via USB-C, which is great and something I massively endorse. Um, and they hold, I think, about six to eight hours of charge I got out of them, which is perfectly acceptable given these are around a year, year and a half old. I also like the fact that the, the cable's nice and thin and doesn't create too much of a rustling sound, and the controls on either side of the neck band are very good. You have an on-off switch, then you have volume rockers, and you also have a button that can be used to, uh, for instance, summon up your chosen voice assistant or indeed stop, start tracks or answer phone calls. On the right hand side you simply just have a noise cancellation or ambient mode um, which allows you to either pass through sound, um, say if you're in a city and you want to be able to hear cars, um, or indeed switch the noise cancellation on. The design is sleek, they're sweat proof, they're sort of waterproof to a certain extent, you can use them uh, whilst running or, or cycling etc, they're very well suited to that and as I said the sound quality is great. It's just such a shame that they say noise cancellation and there just isn't much there. 
So if you're considering buying these headphones, I know you can get some very good deals um, on used ones or indeed on new ones if you look in the right places, then yes, they're worth considering. Just don't go into this expecting to buy a great set of noise cancelling headphones because these do not have the same technologies as the WH-1000 series, unfortunately. So you're not gonna get that level of noise cancellation. So that's what I think of the Sony um, WI-C600Ns. Uh, definitely an interesting set of wireless headphones, though badly marketed in my opinion. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, uh, pop them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really does help. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.